Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, a new recipe. I know I always post a new recipe on Monday, but this week was crazy, so I'm pretty sure I'll edit this video tonight, so it should be Tuesday today. Uh, forgive me for that, but life happens. Uh, today, since we're getting close to Halloween, I decided to make a Halloween themed dessert. And I wanted to dress up Halloween theme, but I realized makeup is not my field. Baking is, so let's focus on the baking stuff. I made this uh, pound cake, actually mini pound cakes, um, Halloween theme. So they're black, they're made with charcoal. I made a lot of research about that and I think it's, I mean I taste it. It doesn't taste like anything except for vanilla and raspberry, which is what I put inside. As you can see here, there's a little raspberry in the middle. I think it's super cute. I put some icing on some and some I just left it plain. Um, it's very cute because it's just a little cake but it's black so it's a little spooky and it could be fun to make with the kids. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and as always please subscribe to my channel and enjoy the video. Bye! Starting by taking one stick and a half of soft butter, adding three quarters of sugar and putting everything in a KitchenAid with the whisk. You have to whisk it until the butter is gonna get lighter and softer. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. You don't have to do it, I just like the taste of it. Sometimes I just stop the KitchenAid and like clean the bottom of it so I'm sure that all butter gets whipped. At this point I just add two eggs and one egg yolk. You don't have to add it all together but like in two times it's okay. It's very important that the eggs are room temperature. At this point you just let everything mix. And when the consistency is like the one you see here, you just stop the KitchenAid, take it out, and on the side you put one cup of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a tablespoon of charcoal powder. With a stiffer, you just add everything to the butter that we made before and mix it together. This is the consistency you're looking for at the end. I'll just take the pan with the mini cakes molds. And with this recipe I'm giving you now, you're gonna get six mini cakes. And if you want the ingredients in grams, the recipe is in the description box down below. I'm adding some raspberry to have like a blood effect, like a little red in the black of the cake. I used the fresh one and the frozen one, but I didn't really see any difference at the end after baking it. You can pretty much use whatever you like. Here I'm showing you my Halloween rug and I'm putting the mini cakes in the oven at 360 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. After you take them out of the oven, you just let it cool down and then here they are, ready to be eaten. They're so cute. They're a little spooky, but they're very cute. On some, I'm just adding a little icing that I made with some powdered sugar and, and a few drops of water. I add a little bit of the charcoal powder we used before to have like a gray effect. And I'm just putting it on top and let it drip all over. And here is the inside of the mini cake. I, as you can see, it's very soft, but still a little spooky. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, please leave me a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.